Apparel Program, brought to you by Conduit Media Group. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it is the Paul Harrell Program, hour number two, broadcasting from the Marble Palace, the 91st General Assembly. And uh, we just uh, 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 got through with an incredible hour. Uh, so those of you who are going to listen to it here in another hour, just you're not going to want to miss the, the last hour. We talked about the gas tax. Uh, we talked with Jan Morgan on gun rights. We talked with Colonel Paul Deckert on uh, Arkansas law and Arkansas courts. It's a great hour. And we're continuing with another second, another great hour in the second hour because here joining me now is Senator Terry Rice. Senator Rice, welcome back, sir. Thank you, Paul. Good to be with you. I, after uh, Colonel Paul Decker and Jan Morgan, it's kind of like dirt versus an electric rainbow, but I'm, I'm glad to be here. No, that's too self-deprecating. You, you, uh, you're always a great interview because, you're, uh, you're, first of all, you're a conservative. So, I mean, that's always good. Those are rare things around here. Well, they, some people question that at some time. Okay, okay. I, I try to be as much as possible. Uh, so let's talk about um, let's talk about you had a gun bill, and uh, it ran in judiciary. A Second Amendment bill ran in judiciary this morning. It didn't make it out of committee, and I'd like to know why. I I understand there was some questions uh, from another senator on the committee about this not being able to stand up to court challenges and that sort of thing uh i don't know if that i think it was senator trent gardner who was who was bringing that up uh what are your thoughts well this this is a a very short and uh straightforward i'd like to just read it if i could because it's just one paragraph okay it says unlicensed carry not prohibited this subchapter does not prohibit a person from carrying a handgun without a license to carry a concealed handgun under this subchapter whether openly or concealed. If he or she is not otherwise prohibited by the laws of this state from from possessing a firearm in the state as permitted by the United States Constitution. That's it. And so... And that failed a a committee this this morning. It it did get four votes. We needed five. And uh, uh, one uh, member was not there because of uh, medical reasons and and was not... uh, uh, able to weigh in, uh, you know, we still can bring this back. It, it would take five votes again to pass it. Do you plan on bringing it back now? I do. I, I need to talk uh, with one of the senators that wasn't there and, and the one that, that raised concerns. And, you know, the, the Act 746 uh, goes back that I supported and uh, when it came uh, out of the House when I was on that end. You know, there, there's uh, been questions from certain law enforcement. Uh, many have come along and, and kind of gotten educated and comfortable with the fact uh, that, that they can live with uh, uh, concealed carry or open carry. Uh, the uh, ones that can't, you know, this would, would fix that. And there's always questions that you can come up with on any law. But, uh, again, this is pretty simple and profound so obviously you don't agree with the criticism of this may, may i may i just, sure i want to read this is senate bill 585 ladies and gentlemen senate bill 585 go look it up uh and uh hopefully this is something that can get rerun because that sounds incredible to me that we're basically just going to allow the second amendment to you know kind of be the standard bear here in arkansas i imagine that you will get some pushback from the state police possibly because there's a lot of money that goes uh into purchasing your rights to purchasing with a concealed that, that's, carry money seems to be what uh, drives everything here you know and and when you try to back it up any that's the first thing and again it, it would uh, one thing i brought out in committee and and jan morgan who t- uh, testified for this uh, she wasn't really there for this bill but she was able to testify for this bill uh yes there will be some people that uh, would not get their concealed carry. However, I'm one, and others have stated they would continue their concealed carry for reciprocal purposes and also for, uh, I feel like it shows I've gone above and beyond what the standard is. Yeah. And, yeah. and, and you know, it's a good good thing to have them go out of state. Arizona's done it, uh, I think New Hampshire, and that, they didn't have any problems yeah, with this. Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, you know, I go to Florida probably once a year, and it's nice, you know, going through uh, other states, you know, all the way to the Gulf, and you know you've got 
I can carry a firearm because they have reciprocity, and that's uh, very encouraging. So people would still take advantage of that aspect of it. But, you know, if you stay in the borders of the state of Arkansas, you, the Second Amendment is there, you know, and it's it's what the standard is that lets you keep and, keep and bear arms. But, you know, it just blows my mind every t- thing I, time I think about uh, the state police is depending on $2.9 million dollars. That's crazy. A year That's for this. crazy. And, yes, it will back it up some. Again, not everybody will drop it. There's some people dropped it and going to Arizona license where they can still have reciprocal, but they can be an Arkansas resident I've and have an Arizona license. That. Yeah, yes. I've heard them do that. Uh, how many Republicans were present in that committee meeting today when this didn't get the well, there, five votes that it needed? There, there are eight committee members. There's one Democrat. And, again, we had one person uh, that was away from medical and uh, uh, was not able to link in. Uh, so if all the Republicans phone. had voted, uh, you know, for the Second Amendment like you would expect them to do. If we had had one more, yeah, it would have passed. Yeah, wow. I mean, that, that, there you go, folks. I mean, we're talking with Senator Terry Rice, who is a Republican and who is a, a, a conservative and uh, who makes good on his campaign promises, uh, has principles, and, you know, it's just frustrating. And I and I wonder, because I know there are other members on that committee uh, that have talked about filing bills, you know, that do th- similar things. And I just, I, I mean, I mean I'm, I'm going to say it, it, it kind of worries me that this might be about who's going to get the credit and, 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 and instead of, hey, you know, let's, let's give people back their rights. Well, let me say this. I will take my name off the bill and let any anybody in there put their name on it, uh, as I did the uh, reduction on the seatbelt fines to try to get it through. And there was a lot of work done on after I took mine and the and the house sponsor off, and, and it still didn't go through. So it's still, sometimes it's that way. I don't care who gets credit for it. I, yeah. I think this is a good bill. I think it's needed to clarify the Second Amendment rights that we have. Jan did a, an awesome job. That's the first time I've heard her live, mm-hmm. although I've seen some uh, Facebook. But, yeah, uh, yeah. She's very, got a massive really social media following. Yes. And really, really good. Well, Senator Terry Rice, I appreciate it, sir. Uh, is there any other any other issue that is, you know, on the top of your list? Uh, you know, we, we probably have, what, five or six weeks of this left or uh, something like that? We're, we're doing some other things. As you have known around here, I kind of do things uh, in the in the back room behind the door, not to be sneaky, but it's just sometimes you can get more things done. Without, Maybe you don't want to broadcast without being on the radio. <laughs> Maybe you don't want to broadcast on the Paul Harrell program first. Yeah, that may that, that you know that's it's kind of allows the uh, the pawns on the other side to kind of anticipate. Uh, so I, I I got it. It's tough to shrink government here. It's tough it to is. keep government from it growing is. here. I mean, it, it's it, it, we are in a minority. We have a, a massive majority of Republicans, but the conservatives are in a in a small minority. We really are. Uh, but Senator Terry Rice, I appreciate it, sir. Paul, thank you for your helping the conservative movement. Trying my best. Folks, we got to take a break. Senator Terry Rice, everybody, back in just a moment.